This year, the reunion, folks, is being held on Barry's property, I, I guess. This is Barry's place. Going to talk a little bit about the memorial he's trying to put together. But I see some more stuff here that brings back some memory. Going to take a look at this old truck over here. I mean, it was like going into a, a small house. Wonder where he got this thing. Where did he, where'd Barry get this truck at? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. What's your name, sir? Bob Ludke. Bob, how you doing? I'm Dewey Maynard. I own the buck on us. This thing brings back some old memories. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It is what it is, and uh, I don't drive anything like that now. <laughs> I don't either. I used to drive tanks. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was all the 17 timers cab as a medic. Yeah. I spent six months out in the field. Thank God that's all the time I had to spend. <laughs> yeah, so, that was interesting. Armored personnel carrier, the old aluminum tin can. Yeah. Had a, I sat up on top behind the team. Was that the M117s? Yeah, 113, I think. 113? Yeah. I was on the M68 once. There you go. Yeah. Had to mess around with the 48s for a little bit, but not much. So. Then they got us A1s. That's what I trained on, was A1s, A1s. Let me move around here for a few more minutes. Yeah, absolutely, here. absolutely. 
was laughing. He said, guess where you're going? I said, Vietnam. He said, no, you're going to Korea. <laughs> I, said, I looked at him and I said, I don't think so. Yeah, because I knew some lots of boys when I was stationed in California. <clears throat> Some of these boys that were coming back to California, the one, two boys from home on emergency leave. For the, that hand grenade is not real, by the way, folks. But they had transferred out of Korea to go to Vietnam. <laughs> they come home on leave, though, and then they turned around and went back to Vietnam. There, there was no they, way. The only Korea thing, was no fun. The only thing I had to do, I had to extend for another year. In order to uh, get the early out, and get no. Had, in order to go to Vietnam, they wouldn't send me. I only had nine months on my obligation. Uh, I had a two-year obligation after I got out of OCS. So. Mm -hmm. but, uh, he said, well, you're going to have to extend. So I extended a year. Yeah. Had to boil water and those things. I'm sorry? The guitar is from Vietnam. I brought it back. You brought it home. No kidding. Yeah, Where'd you get it? Uh, I bought it from uh, Captain McKay. Dong Hunger for 30 bucks. Wow. Nice. You bring it every year? You have the reunion? Well, this is the first time I actually bought a guitar. Yeah. He said, bring your guitar. And you know what? I'll bring my Vietnam guitar. This yeah. guitar can handle it. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, sir? John Stack. John, glad to meet you. Mine's Dewey Maynard. Welcome home, brother. Thank you. We went to feel well, but we feel all the So he said he'd like to sit up in the front. The women, she Coming through the bush, there's Joe. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't. John Rocket, wasn't it Lieutenant Rocket? Lieutenant Larry, I couldn't tell you. I think I it is. I don't know who it is. Sounds right. I think it is. Jim? Where were you over there? That's Fair State. I, I was in uh, six yep. Fourth Infantry Division, so Sixth Battalion. I've got numerous questions. I don't know really. I'm just going to go out and say, I couldn't take the tanks. I couldn't take the tanks. Too, too many. Some guy that looked too young to be there, right? I know. Had wow. to call for 88s to come you in. You definitely had your youth. Yeah. You had your youth back then. Like a little kid. Fred. Uh, Nolan. Nolan. So you guys do this every year? Yep, this is the 11th year. Yeah, a lot of What's your name, sir? Uh, Larry Henry. Well, uh, my name's Dewey Maynard. Oh, yeah. I gave you some business cards to Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got one. Did you? I got one. Good. Yeah, yeah. I've adopted these guys. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was out in the field. I don't remember. I don't remember. And uh, got hurt. I don't remember. I came into Baldy for uh, repair. Stayed there, I don't even know how long, 10 days, something like that. Uh, went down to the Shoe Line Hospital, came back to Baldwin. They released me and went to uh, the fire base. I don't know what happened. Put me back in Baldwin. Uh, I, I was in the aid station probably 20 or 3 years, something like that. Did you say, were you a chopper or something? No, I was a uh, grunt. Uh, 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 company off uh, the center. I, I got to know the uh, gate chaplain. Well, I was in the hospital. He, he had his office right there in the office uh, in the hospital. Center. And uh, so he was coming through one night. I met him and uh, talked to him for those three weeks. 
And so I, there you are. They, there I am. In the older days. Oh, no, to say goodbye. <laughs> Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. These guys yeah. actually Stacey quite few were good for us. Yes. Wow. And, then, and then I lived with them as chaplain's assistant. So well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I wonder if these are the two ladies who are white. Yeah, that's quite true. Let me go. Well, that's what I'm going to try. Put the cameraman beside yours so I can remember who you are. My memory walks out on me sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Right. I got you. Got my email address. Got you. Very good. Did you, did you make sure with the, when they put their name down where they were. Good idea. The same thing. That way it makes it easier. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, Barry's not going to remember all, you know. I'll do that. That's a good idea. Well, you know, you did what you had to do. I 
turned to Becky, and there was three of them. Tommy opened up the door and saw his Becky crying. The torn dress, the shattered look was more than he could stand. He reached above the fireplace, took down his daddy's picture. As his tears fell on his daddy's face, he heard the word he did. Thank <laughs> you. 